<laughs> Mate, I'm in love. I, I love this bike. <laughs> but the power is there. Like. It is. Like, you go around a corner, it handles so well, and if you keep it in that sweet spot, and you can just... Oh, mate. It's fucking good. Yeah, right. Left it again, just so you know. Huh? Left it again. Sweet. Watch me struggle again. I couldn't get up with your clutch. I could not move. I could not get used to it. Okay. Right. I don't I don't know what this bike is. I'm not gonna lie. So I've just come off a, a Z800. My bloody SD card corrupted, so I've got no footage on that, but I'll jump back on that in a minute. I think this is the CB R650F or something like that. Oh, it's got sweet gears. Like changing gear, that feels good. Again, I come off the a Z800 and this feels exactly the same, so smooth. Do you know what? You're sat quite upright. You're sat like up on R3. Um, so it's quite, it's really comfortable. I'm going to have to keep opening my visor because I can't fucking hay you. My eyes are watering like mad. Really smooth, more flickable than that Z800. I always compare, I don't know if I'm recording still. Yeah, I think I am. I always compare my bikes that I'm riding to, um, to another bike. Normally it'd be my Hypermotard. So when I was doing that review a minute ago, I was reviewing it compared to my Hypermotard. This, just because I've just come off the Z800, I'm going to compare it to that. Uh, right now it feels exactly the same. The brake break on the Z800 didn't feel too good. It's a lot better on this. Front brake, probably about the same as the Z800. Not as good as the Hypermotard's Brembo's, but the Z800 felt more planted in the corners, but this feels lighter and more nimble, if that makes sense. Oh, this handles so well. This handles like the R3. God, that handles good. Again, you keep it in that sweet spot and you kick it out of them corners like a absolute monster. I think the front brake is a bit better on the, yeah, a bit better on the Z800, to be honest. Stay on your side of the road, matey boy. Oh, this handles like a gem. It's, this is a lot lighter than that Z800. Sounds beautiful. I want to be brutally honest. I don't want to like. I'm not trying to rag on his bike because uh, the guy that owned this also had an MT07. Oh, I loved his MT07. Never got to ride it though. Where's the? Where the fuck are the indicators? Is that it? Oh yeah, they're, they're below the horn. Why have they done that? Right. I'm in first gear. I think I might have been a in a higher gear than I should have been. Yep, I found it now. I was actually in a higher gear. That's why that acceleration didn't feel as good. Yep. That's better. <laughs> That's where the kick is. Somehow I was in a higher gear. I don't know, don't know how I managed that. Fucking noob. Oh yeah. There's the sweet spot, baby. There's the sweet spot. To be fair, between seven and eight grand. Seven and nine, yeah, seven grand. That's where she, she likes to play. these fucking four cylinder bikes that you rev them out and you can just get it going and listen to it she's a beauty she is a beauty oh i feel spoiled off a z800 which i'm gonna get back on because my gopro fucked up oh my god the turning circle on this is so much better than the z800 wow right yeah first gear is beautiful handles so nice man so nice and again you hit that sweet spot seven grand come out the corner fucking rabbit you cunt oh. the brakes on this are good 
They are good. Oh. Man, my heart was racing then. I like her. I still, I don't know what it is about that Z800 that I like, but I do like that Z800. But then I also really like this. Yeah, the sun's out my eyes now. Oh mate, she, look at her. She handles better than the Z800. Z800 it is a planted bike, it's quite heavy, whereas this is a lot lighter and you can just chuck it about. Look, that's all my hip. I'm not doing anything with my arms. That's how light she is, she's beautiful. Again, I like to rate my bikes, and um, I rated the R3 when I was riding it uh, about a 6 out of 10, a uh, Duke 390 about a 6 out of 10, uh, that KTM LC4640 I'd probably rate a good, a good, um, oh I don't know, a 7 out of 10, this I think I'd give a 7 out of 10, and that Z800 was an 8 out of 10. I really like that Z800, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it was the fact that I came off the R3, so it's going to be interesting coming off of this. 